Hey everybody, this is Jason Matthews. We're talking about cash is trash or is cash is king. Today, we're going to talk about the difference. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're going to go deeper in this. Right now, we're hearing tons of people who are like, such as Ray Dalio, Grant Cardone, Robert Kiyosaki, who says cash is trash. But is it really? Today, we're going to talk about when is cash is trash and when is cash is king. So right now, we hear these big guys, you know, Grant Cardone, like I mentioned, Ray Dalio, and all these guys talking about cash is trash, cash doesn't mean anything, it's just paper. Yes, if you have a $100 million portfolio, a billion dollar portfolio, cash is trash. But at the same time, we have somebody like Warren Buffett who has a record amount of cash on hand on, the, on about $140 billion or more just in cash. So what should we take about this cash is trash versus cash is king thought? Cash is king for most Americans. Here's the reason why. If you don't have three months, three to six months worth of savings, it doesn't matter if you think cash is trash. You need to have liquid cash. Right now, we're hearing a number of bankruptcies are happening across America on the corporate bank, on the corporate business side, all because these companies don't have cash and they fell into the thought of cash is trash. But as regular Americans, we cannot think cash is trash. How we should do it in our strategy should be is, hey, I want to make sure I have three to six months worth of savings just in case something an accident does happen, just in case my car breaks down, just in case I lose my job or my spouse gets sick. But then after that cash for three to six months, then we can look at where are the opportunities which we have the cash on hand. So what this means. I build up three months, six months worth of savings. I have more than that. I should still be saving money. And then after I be saving that money, I want to start looking for opportunities. It could be in real estate, like some people might hear. It could be in stocks. It could be whatever opportunities it could be. It could be a business that we always thought about. But after we build up that three to six months, we should use, we should have, keep saving our cash and use other savings vehicles for our cash where you can talk to them about what's the best savings vehicle for us, for cash, and then look out for opportunities. Especially during this time of recession, we're gonna to see tons of opportunities. But if you don't have the cash, if you're struggling to get cash, if you're struggling to get credit, while those big billionaire funds, they can get uh, credit for dirt cheap, for basically for free, but you can't. Average credit card is still charging you 20%. So that means we have to use our cash, look for opportunities with it, down the road once we hit three to six months. Cash is king. With cash, we can find opportunities when we need it, and then we can go ahead and use it until things that give us cash producing revenue, or what we could say passive income. And now, is it a overnight thing? No, it's a lifetime process and system in place. But remember, think about it, cash is not trash, because they're billionaires and they're in a different category, and they're using their wealth different. What you should be looking at is, do I have enough cash to weather the storm, and do I have cash to take advantage of opportunities? If you have any other question on how you build up that cash for it, give us a call, hit the subscribe button. You can call us at 510-229-7608 or email us at matthewsfinancial at gmail.com.